Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the US ban on Chinese semiconductor. In recent years, the trend of the chip war between China and the United States has become increasingly prominent. When the United States has almost started a trade war, U.S. national security officials have begun to publicly say that the development of semiconductor and chip manufacturing technology is the lifeline for the security of the defense industry. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs also successively introduced a number of technology export restriction measures, which surprised the world. In response to the various measures of the United States, the Chinese government has issued multiple statements expressing its firm opposition and offering a series of countermeasures. However, recently found information shows that the chip war between China and the United States has reversed. The United States lost a bit this time, while China ushered in a bright spot. 1. The United States lost a bit miserably. In the current globalized environment, the economic ties between countries are getting closer and closer, and a trade war is a loss to everyone. The United States, in particular, has imposed multiple rounds of trade sanctions against China in recent years, some of which have even crossed borders raising global doubts about American hegemony. However, in this Sino-US chip war, the United States seems to be a little excited. They seem to think that they can restrain China's technological development through technology export controls. And this strategy just made the United States feel the pain it deserved. First, Chinese semiconductor companies bypass U.S. technology export controls. U.S. export restrictions put China's semiconductor companies in a dilemma between demand and supply. The U.S. found that China could not obtain advanced U.S. semiconductor technology, so it restricted the improvement of semiconductor levels to contain China. But the reality, is that the rise of Chinese companies in the semiconductor field fully proves the failure of this strategy. First of all, Chinese semiconductor companies are accelerating the introduction of foreign core technologies while focusing on independent innovation, thus gradually escaping from the shackles of technology control in the United States. Under the circumstances, China's semiconductor industry is developing rapidly. Americans can see with the naked eye that China's raw material addition ratio is increasing year by year, while the proportion of U.S. chip sales exported to China is shrinking. Second, the industrial chain of Chinese semiconductor companies is rising. In the past few years, China has actively built the semiconductor industry chain, promoted the deep integration of related industries, and built its own semiconductor ecosystem. From chip-level wafer manufacturing, to foundry, to design and R&D, in the Sino-US chip war, the industrial chain of all links can support the work of exporting chips. Therefore, the shipments of manufacturers such as Huawei, Xiaomi, and OPPO have also risen unscrupulously, and the scale of the entire semiconductor ecosystem industry is so large that the United States cannot match it. Third, the suspension of transactions of American companies. The events of Kaspersky Lab and Huawei have greatly demonstrated that the technology embargo imposed by American companies and the government against China has a congruous effect. When American companies stopped supplying China with key semiconductor components, 
software, and other core technologies. It did not offset the, the urgent need for technology acquisition by Chinese semiconductor companies has actually strengthened their independent innovation capabilities, and the losses of American companies are now irreversible. China's semiconductor ushered in a bright moment. China's domestic chips are developing rapidly. In this round of deadlock, China's chip manufacturing has risen rapidly in the face of adversity. Today, the high attention of the government and enterprises, continuous investment, and the support of Chinese people have brought China unprecedented development opportunities in semiconductors. Due to the explosive growth of China's manufacturing industry and PCs and mobile devices, China's chip market has already can occupy a large part of the world. China's National Chip Engineering Construction In order to promote the rapid improvement of China's chip technology level, China has launched a series of bidding projects, grandly established a number of national chip projects, and accelerated the layout and development of the chip industry. China's semiconductor trade amid the global pandemic it is worth noting that with the gradual changes in the global epidemic situation, the value of China's international semiconductor trade has gradually been strengthened, becoming one of the top semiconductor markets in the world, attracting a large number of overseas companies and professionals to develop in China. Regarding the reversal of the Sino-US chip war, China should be optimistic. Although China is in a weak position in the current state, China cannot stop moving forward. China should strengthen confidence, strengthen industrial cooperation, improve production technology, and avoid external pressure from having a strong impact on China. At the same time, China must realize that only one commercial front can bring common development. The rise of China's semiconductor industry is showing its potential in the global semiconductor market, but China needs to attach great importance to and strengthen it at the policy and strategic levels. Lead new semiconductor innovations and technological innovations, thereby pushing China to a higher level on the road to the rise of a great power. What do you think for this? Welcome to leave a message to discuss in the comment area. Thank you for watching this video.